I grew up in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. When I was around seven or eight, my grandmother gave me the book, Sue Barton, RN, and it's a series of seven or eight books. And I read it, and I fell in love with nursing. I went into the Army Nurse Corps. They actually paid my last two years, and I thought it would be a great adventure, and it was. And that also shaped me tremendously as a leader, as a leader clinician. The attraction for me at Duke was not only the phenomenal reputation it had and the ascendancy of the school that a lot of deans watched during the last 10 years, but also that it was coming home to the South. I first met Dr. Broom probably over 20 years ago when she was a president for the Society for Pediatric Nurses. And I remember very distinctly thinking how really fortunate we were to have somebody that just presented themselves as so polished, so brave, so willing to stand up for her beliefs. The first time I met Dean Broom was on my first day of orientation as a PhD student where she came and introduced herself. And that's when I learned that she was gonna be co-teaching my first course, Philosophy of Science and Theory Development. She started as a professor, as a dean, but then quickly became a mentor, you know, providing me with opportunities to network or to, um, to meet influential individuals. She is a dean and a leader and an educator and a scientist and an advocate in support of nursing research uh, funding and funding for education, population health, social uh, justice, and the advancement of nursing education. She's got that human touch. Uh, a great deal of this touch is no doubt because she's quite an empathetic individual. Uh, so she understands people and she can put herself in their shoes but she also understands how to work with people and she's got that perfect touch in terms of motivating not just individuals but a whole group toward achieving a shared vision. Her leadership abilities, her ability to transform uh, the healthcare environment, the academic environment really speaks to somebody that's so well deserving of such a great honor. I join your major fan club uh, and uh, congratulate you on this honor uh, and of your tireless work on behalf of the nursing profession uh, and on behalf of health and health care. Her accomplishments serve as real pillars of distinction for others to emulate, uh, but importantly, she's not done. Um, and so we can expect when it comes to uh, Dean Broom that the best is still yet to come. Mm -hmm.